a Dear Media original podcast. I am a huge fan of anything nutritious and convenient and meals that energize you for warmer, active days and keep you on track for reaching your goals. And Factor is an amazing ready-to-eat meal kit, which can help you fuel up fast with ready-to-eat meals. And they are delivered straight to your door. If you find yourself overwhelmed this spring and needing some help with cooking, you can use Factor and skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chocolate and prepping and cleaning up. Factor offers delicious flavor-packed options on the menu each week to fit a variety of lifestyles. They have keto and vegan and veggie and protein plus. They are prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. Each meal has all the ingredients you would need to feel satisfied all day long while meeting your goals. There are 34 chef prepared dietitian approved weekly options and there's always something new to try. I love variety and staying out of food ruts. There are 45 plus add-ons including breakfast items like egg bites and smoothies and more. Also, I find a lot of people are wanting to cut down on takeout. Get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but the meals are faster than restaurant delivery in just 2 minutes. Head to factormeals.com slash good50 and use the code good50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code good50 at factormeals.com slash good50 to get 50% off your first box. Hi, welcome to Good Instincts. I'm Shira Barlow, but you may know me as the food therapist. Join me every Monday through Friday for bite-sized episodes designed to help you close the gap between where you are right now and where you want to go. This should feel good, like really good. And it will, I promise. So I wanted to talk today about intermittent fasting because it is something that comes up all the time. And right in the beginning of the show, when we were doing a promo for the show, the marketing team on a smash or pass on Instagram asked me about intermittent fasting. And I said, pass, because as a blanket statement, fasting is a no for me, but it is nuanced. And I'm trying to be more balanced in my approach, even with things that are extreme, in my opinion. I want to be nuanced about something that's nuanced. And the reality is, is there's more to the conversation. So I wanted to have that conversation today. But I do want to say something before we start, which is that anyone who might have an active eating disorder or disordered eating, this is not something I recommend. This conversation could potentially be triggering and I want to be really sensitive to that. So let's get into it. Basically, Intermittent fasting can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but the through line is that there are specific times where someone is eating and then there's times when they're not eating. But there are two kind of popular ways to do it. The first, which is the most common, is what people kind of refer to as a 16-8 model where you eat during an eight-hour period and then fast for 16 hours. So for instance, you might eat between the hours of like 12 P to 8 P or 9 A to 5 P. It's within those hours. And then there's another version where some people will take a 5 2 approach where they eat normally for five days. And then on two days, they limit themselves significantly on calories, basically to like a 500 or 600 calorie meal. And I just want to be really clear that I really disagree with the 5 2 method. I think it's way too extreme. I think limiting yourself to that few calories for two days just isn't sustainable. And I think you're really setting yourself up to go overboard on the other side. And I think most importantly, I just don't think that that's going to feel good. And I'm never going to recommend something that doesn't feel good, period. But the 16-8 approach, I do have more nuanced feelings about. And I think on one hand, putting restrictions on yourself at all of when you can eat and when you can't eat is tricky because above all, I really want people to listen to their bodies and get really in tune with their bodies and not place these arbitrary rules. And on the other hand, I do know many people that enjoy eating this way and feel really good eating this way. 
And there is some real research that it can be helpful in some cases with blood sugar and hunger hormones. And there is also some interesting research on gene expression. So that means that it has the ability to potentially make these changes on a genetic level. One of the genes that's been studied is a gene called SIRT3, which codes for a protein in our mitochondria that has been associated with positive effects on anti-aging. And it has been shown in some of this research to upregulate that gene. On the flip side, there is also research that shows that there is a chance that the intermittent fasting could potentially negatively impact reproductive hormones. And that is still very much up for debate, but I do think it's worth noting. And I think that on either end, you could do a ton of research and find some research suggesting a little of both. When I was thinking about this episode, I simultaneously was headed out on a family trip, which I'm still on as I record this episode right now. And I one day accidentally on the travel day did this. I essentially wound up eating within these hours and it felt kind of good. And I decided just kind of for my own test to try it out. And you know what? For about three days, it felt really good. And I did notice myself not feeling hungry all the time. Sometimes when I'm snacking all day, I feel just like hungry and nauseous all the time. That does also coincide with me you know, working from home and having the ability to snack as much as I'd like to. But I did find myself feeling really good in that way. But what happened on the fourth day was that I was really hungry one day outside that window and I wound up eating because I would never not eat if I was hungry. And I think in my opinion, that's kind of what I would say to you guys. So if this is something that's is of interest to you and you feel like you have a healthy relationship with food and it's something you'd be interested in trying, I don't think that there's any real harm to trying the 16-8 method. But I do think that if you are hungry outside of the window, I do think you owe it to yourself to above all listen to your body. I think actively telling your body not to eat when it's hungry is doing yourself a disservice because then you're getting farther away of being really in tune with yourself and it's not going to work out long term. So that's my take. I am always going to lay it out for you the same way I would for a loved one or a friend or someone really important in my life. And I'd love to know if you have any of your own experiences with any of this. And I always love hearing from you. If you want to find me, it's easy to find me in the DMs on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about ways to spice up meals with basically zero legwork. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening to Good Instincts, hosted and written by me, Shira Barlow. You can find me on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. Good Instincts is a Dear Media Daily. I am a huge fan of anything nutritious and convenient and meals that energize you for warmer, active days and keep you on track for reaching your goals. And Factor is an amazing ready-to-eat meal kit, which can help you fuel up fast with ready-to-eat meals. And they are delivered straight to your door. If you find yourself overwhelmed this spring and needing some help with cooking, you can use Factor and skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chocolate shopping and prepping and cleaning up. Factor offers delicious flavor-packed options on the menu each week to fit a variety of lifestyles. They have keto and vegan and veggie and protein plus. They are prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. Each meal has all the ingredients you would need to feel satisfied all day long while meeting your goals. There are 34 chef prepared dietitian approved weekly options and there's always something new to try. I love variety and staying out of food ruts. There are 45 plus add-ons including breakfast items like egg bites and smoothies and more. Also, I find a lot of people are wanting to cut down on takeout. Get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but the meals are faster than restaurant delivery in just 2 minutes. Head to factormeals.com slash good50 and use the code good50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code good50 at factormeals.com slash good50 to get 50% off your first box.